morning everybody welcome back this is Gina I've got a design team project to share with you guys uh, let me just zoom in a little bit closer this is a design team project for my porch prints on Etsy and today I've used her <coughs> de dictionary definitions and the fussy cut flowers and birds kits that she's got and I'll just show you um, this is the definition uh, sheets that she's got. I fell in love with those. And then the fussy cut flowers and birds are just so many uses for um, projects that I knew I wanted to work with this one. So again, you've seen <clears throat> yesterday, if, if you watched my uh, design team project uh, for Artie Mays, I had used these <clears throat> house-shaped tags. Well, I've just turned this into a house-shaped um, tag booklet. So I'm just going to go through same technique. Um, I just went ahead with the laces. I thought, you know, it did look so much like little chimneys. I went ahead and ran um, some of the jumbo eyelets through it and then just <clears throat> you know, held it together by a um, book ring. And so, same technique, and then I've added tags within, so you've got the journaling space back here. And there's one of the images from that. I just love it. <clears throat> These are also background papers from my porch prints. <clears throat> and if I can remember, I will put those in the description box as well. Uh, I think they were... Oh, I don't know. I think it might have been... <clears throat> excuse me, guys, my throat. I think it might have been the Grandma's Attic Journal Kit that those came from. So, on the back, I went ahead and decided... I was going to leave these plain, but I decided I needed to add some little pockets. So that's what I did. I just did some um, collaging back here, added some laces and vintage buttons, and then a couple of places throughout I've added some Wink of Stella. And if you've never seen, it's a little marker that you can get and it is so pretty because it adds, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but it gives just a little bit of glimmer and I do mean it's very subtle, um, but I love using this. Um, so if you're interested in that, I'll put a link in to that in my Amazon shop, um, and you can check that out. Okay, so on this one, I made a little booklet. And I love how this came out. So what I had done here was embossed the pocket, and then I realized when you emboss, sometimes these... Um, <clears throat> papers can get quite weak, so I could see that that wasn't going to hold up, so I went ahead and added uh, some of the script washi to that. But look at that, and I've got the Wink of Stella on there. It might show up a little bit better on that bird, but it's just a little hint of glimmer without it being too much. So it's just a tiny little booklet with some leftover scraps that I had and this is coffee dyed paper and then I just stamped a little bird in the front and the back and then I did the closures I've been making I love those closures now so it's like oh I'm obsessing over that as well <clears throat> so again um, more images from my porch prints um, these come with <clears throat> I'm so sorry about my throat, guys, from the bird, the fussy bird um, cutouts. That comes with it, and these are some of the shabby ledger papers from my porch prints. I love those papers. So that's just tucked in there. <clears throat> some more trim, up, uh, fabric up here to hold it. So what I did, I alternated every other tag has got a plain background so you can do some journaling there because I felt like it needed more places for you to write. I love how this came out. This is one of the bird images from the kit. 
This is another of the definitions. Let me just show you guys up close because I like for you to be able to get a really good look. I'm sorry about the glare. That's the acetate window there. And again, this is another image I cut out. This is some embossed um, paper that I added. I thought I had embossing powder, and when I dug it um, through my powders, I'm down to just clear, so I've got some white on order. But here, and then I just added a little bit of bling there with some cheesecloth. I love how that's come out. So with him, I had a little, tiny little uh, crown stamp, and I just thought it'd be a little bit of fun just to add that to him. And then I've added tabs to the cards. And like I said, you got more writing space there. So just, just something different, something fun. I've totally enjoyed this project. Um, because I said I've been really... Um, I just needed to get back to creating fun and new things. Because I was feeling like I was just you know, doing the same things, and that really doesn't suit me. I've got to keep trying new techniques. Um, here, <clears throat> just another bit of extra paper so that you could write on there. And I just added a little button with some flower and some lace, and that's tucked in. And these are some old buttons. Uh, the middle one's not that old, but those two are very old. And then here, I love how this page looks. I just took some of that white um, pen that I picked up. And again, this is for sale. Um, if you check my Amazon uh, link, affiliate link in the description box, you can see the pen up close. So I just did some faux stitches around that. Added that. Um, this is one of the little cutouts I just put in there. And then this is just a little tag from my stash that I thought went along really well with that. Added some Irish linen thread there. Love how it's come out. Again, more journaling space back here to write. Um, and then this one, another image from the Fussy Cut Birds. And then this was from a different kit of Stephanie's. I can't think off the top of my head, but I, I just thought, oh, I'll add that too, because I wanted it to be kind of a you know, some motivational quotes throughout, and um, again, I love, love, love how these have come out. It's been so much fun working with these. Here, I've just added a tag that I've collaged, added another definition to it, and then here I've just got multiple layers with some lace, and this is one of the flower fussy cuts from her that flower kit, and then some more snippet down there. And then over here, I love this page, um, did some stamping. This is an old Stampin' Up! stamp I've had for since forever. <laughs> since almost when Stampin' Up! formed. <laughs> um, another little bit of crochet with an old button there. Another place to write. I love this one. Another definition. And then that's another flower from the kit. I mean flower. Bird. Bird from the kit. Bit of lace down here. And then over here I just added some um, piano uh, paper. I made that into a ruffle, some more lace, and then this is just another extra bit of paper. So there's more journaling room there, and I've stamped that one and rounded it. That's tucked in there. And then another little pocket here that I made. And um, <clears throat> this is another ephemera piece from one of Stephanie's kits. Can't recall, I'm sorry, but um, and then this one I just took a little library card, I stamped a bird's nest on there, and just added little bits of um, paper that I had left over and made that into a little um, notebook, and then some more 
collaging. I just added a little glitter heart cut out there, and this is some really old lace here that I've added. <clears throat> and then this is the last tag, and again, another image from the kit. So you can journal back there. And then on the back, I've just stamped my stamp there. So there it is. I just think it's so sweet. I love this. I love this little journal so much. It was really fun to make. Um, and I am going to have this for sale in my shop. So if you're interested, you can um, go in the description box below and it'll take you to my shop and you can find, find this for sale. Okay, guys, that's it. I've got three more journals I'm trying my best to complete. Um, I'm hoping to have those uh, very soon. So you guys stay tuned, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.